October 6th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 119 and 120 from the Old Testament. How blessed are those whose actions are blameless, who obey the law of the Lord. How blessed are those who observe his rules and seek him with all their heart, who moreover do no wrong, but follow in his footsteps. You demand that your precepts be carefully kept. If only I were predisposed to keep your statutes, then I would not be ashamed. If I were focused on all your commands, I will give you sincere thanks when I learn your just regulations. I will keep your statutes. Do not completely abandon me. How can a young person maintain a pure life? By guarding it according to your instructions. With all my heart I seek you. Do not allow me to stray from your commands. In my heart I store up your words, so I might not sin against you. You deserve praise, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I proclaim all the regulations you have revealed. I rejoice in the lifestyle prescribed by your rules, as if they were riches of all kinds. I will meditate on your precepts and focus on your behavior. I find delight in your statutes. I do not forget your instructions. Be kind to your servant, then I will live and keep your instructions. Open my eyes so I can truly see the marvelous things in your law. I am like a foreigner in this land. Do not hide your commands from me. I desperately long to know your regulations at all times. You reprimand arrogant people. Those who stray from your commands are doomed. Spare me shame and humiliation, for I observe your rules. The rulers plot and slander me. Your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, I find delight in your rules. They give me guidance. I collapse in the dirt. Revive me with your word. I told you about my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Help me to understand what your precepts mean that I can meditate on your marvelous teachings. I collapse from grief. Sustain me by your word. Remove me from the path of deceit. Graciously give me your law. I choose the path of faithfulness. I am committed to your regulations. I hold fast to your rules, O Lord. Do not let me be ashamed. I run along the path of your commands, for you enable me to do so. Teach me, O Lord, the lifestyle prescribed by your statutes, so that I might observe it continually. Give me understanding so that I might observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me in the path of your commands, for I delight to walk in it. Give me a desire for your rules rather than for wealth gained unjustly. Turn my eyes away from what is worthless. Revive me with your word. Confirm to your servant your promise, which you made to the one who honors you. Take away the insults that I dread. Indeed, your regulations are good. Look, I long for your precepts. Revive me with your deliverance. May I experience your loyal love, O Lord, and your deliverance as you promised. Then I will have a reply for the one who insults me, for I trust in your word. Do not completely deprive me of a truthful testimony, for I await your justice. Then I will keep your law continually now and for all time. I will be secure, for I seek your precepts. I will speak about your regulations before kings and not be ashamed. I will find delight in your commands, which I love. I will lift my hands to your commands, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. This is what comforts me in my trouble, for your promise revives me. Arrogant people do nothing but scoff at me, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remember your ancient regulations, O Lord, and console myself. Rage takes hold of me because of the wicked, those who reject your law. Your statutes have been my song in the house where I live. I remember your name during the night, O Lord, and I will keep your law. This has been my practice, for I observe your precepts. The Lord is my source of security. I have determined to follow your instructions. I seek your favor with all my heart. Have mercy on me as you promised. I consider my actions and follow your rules. I keep your commands eagerly and without delay. The ropes of the wicked tighten around me, but I do not forget your law. 
In the midst of the night, I arise to thank you for your just regulations. I am a friend to all your loyal followers and to those who keep your precepts. O Lord, your loyal love fills the earth. Teach me your statutes. You are good to your servant, O Lord, just as you promised. Teach me proper discernment and understanding, for I consider your commands to be reliable. Before I was afflicted, I used to stray off, but now I keep your instructions. You are good, and you do good. Teach me your statutes. Arrogant people smear my reputation with lies, but I observe your precepts with all my heart. Their hearts are callous, but I find delight in your law. It was good for me to suffer so that I might learn your statutes. The law you have revealed is more important to me than thousands of pieces of gold and silver. Your hands made me and formed me. Give me understanding so that I might learn your commands. Your loyal followers will be glad when they see me, for I find hope in your word. I know, Lord, that your regulations are just. You discipline me because of your faithful devotion to me. May your loyal love console me as you promised your servant. May I experience your compassion so I might live, for I find delight in your law. May the arrogant be humiliated, for they have slandered me. May I meditate on your precepts. May your loyal followers turn to me, those who know your rules. May I be fully committed to your statutes, so that I might not be ashamed. I desperately long for your deliverance. I find hope in your word. My eyes grow tired as I wait for your promise to be fulfilled. I say, when will you comfort me? For I am like a wineskin dried up in smoke. I do not forget your statutes. How long must your servant endure this? When will you judge those who pursue me? The arrogant dig pits to trap me, which violates your law. All your commands are reliable. I am pursued without reason. Help me. They have almost destroyed me here on the earth, but I do not reject your precepts. Revive me with your loyal love that I might keep the rules you have revealed. O oh Lord, your instructions endure. They stand secure in heaven. You demonstrate your faithfulness to all generations. You establish the earth, and it stood firm. Today they stand firm by your decrees, for all things are your servants. If I had not found encouragement in your law, I would have died in my sorrow. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have revived me. I belong to you. Deliver me, for I seek your precepts. The wicked prepare to kill me, yet I concentrate on your rules. I realize that everything has its limits, but your commands are beyond full comprehension. Oh, how I love your law. All day long I meditate on it. Your commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for I am always aware of them. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your rules. I am more discerning than those older than I, for I observe your precepts. I stay away from the evil path so that I might keep your instructions. I do not turn aside from your regulations, for you teach me. Your words are sweeter in my mouth than honey. Your precepts give me discernment, therefore I hate all deceitful actions. Your word is a lamp to walk by and a light to illumine my path. I have vowed and solemnly sworn to keep your just regulations. I am suffering terribly. O oh Lord, revive me with your word. O oh Lord, please accept the free will offerings of my praise. Teach me your regulations. My life is in continual danger. But I do not forget your law. The wicked lay a trap for me, but I do not wander from your precepts. I claim your rules as my permanent possession, for they give me joy. I am determined to obey your statutes at all times, to the very end. I hate people with divided loyalties, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I find hope in your word. Turn away from me, you evil men, so that I can observe the commands of my God. Sustain me as you promised so that I will live. Do not disappoint me. Support me so that I will be delivered, then I will focus on your statutes continually. You despise all who stray from your statutes, for they are deceptive and unreliable. You remove all the wicked of the earth like slag. Therefore, I love your rules.
My body trembles because I fear you. I am afraid of your judgments. I do what is fair and right. Do not abandon me to my oppressors. Guarantee the welfare of your servant. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes grow tired as I wait for your deliverance, for your reliable promise to be fulfilled. Show your servant your loyal love. Teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me insight so that I can understand your rules. It is time for the Lord to act. They break your law. For this reason, I love your commands more than gold, even purest gold. For this reason, I carefully follow all your precepts. I hate all deceitful actions. Your rules are marvelous. Therefore, I observe them. Your instructions are a doorway through which light shines. They give insight to the untrained. I open my mouth and pant because I long for your commands. Turn toward me and extend mercy to me, as you typically do to your loyal followers. Direct my steps by your word. Do not let any sin dominate me. Deliver me from oppressive men so that I can keep your precepts. Smile on your servant. Teach me your statutes. Tears stream down from my eyes because people do not keep your law. You are just, O Lord, and your judgments are fair. The rules you impose are just and absolutely reliable. My zeal consumes me, for my enemies forget your instructions. Your word is absolutely pure, and your servant loves it. I am insignificant and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your justice endures, and your law is reliable. Distress and hardship confront me, yet I find delight in your commands. Your rules remain just. Give me insight so that I can live. I cried out with all my heart, Answer me, O Lord. I will observe your statutes. I cried out to you, Deliver me so that I can keep your rules. I am up before dawn, crying for help. I find hope in your word. My eyes anticipate the nighttime hours so that I can meditate on your word. Listen to me because of your loyal love. O Lord, revive me as you typically do. Those who are eager to do wrong draw near. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord, and all your commands are reliable. I learned long ago that you ordained your rules to last. See my pain and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Fight for me and defend me. Revive me with your word. The wicked have no chance for deliverance, for they do not seek your statutes. Your compassion is great, O Lord. Revive me as you typically do. The enemies who chase me are numerous, yet I do not turn aside from your rules. I take note of the treacherous and despise them, because they do not keep your instructions. See how I love your precepts? O Lord, revive me with your loyal love. Your instructions are totally reliable. All your just regulations endure. Rulers pursue me for no reason, yet I am more afraid of disobeying your instructions. I rejoice in your instructions like one who finds much plunder. I hate and despise deceit. I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your just regulations. Those who love your law are completely secure. Nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your deliverance, O Lord, and I obey your commands. I keep your rules. I love them greatly. I keep your precepts and rules, for you are aware of everything I do. Listen to my cry for help, O Lord. Give me insight by your word. Listen to my appeal for mercy. Deliver me as you promised. May praise flow freely from my lips, for you teach me your statutes. May my tongue sing about your instructions, for all your commands are just. May your hand help me, for I choose to obey your precepts. I long for your deliverance, O Lord. I find delight in your law. May I live and praise you. May your regulations help me. I have wandered off like a lost sheep. Come looking for your servant, for I do not forget your commands. In my distress, I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me. I said, O Lord, rescue me from those who lie with their lips and those who deceive with their tongue. How will he severely punish you, you deceptive talker? Here's how. With the sharp arrows of warriors, with arrowheads forged over the hot coals. How miserable I am. 
for I have lived temporarily in Meshach. I have resided among the tents of Kedar. For too long I have had to reside with those who hate peace. I am committed to peace, but when I speak, they want to make war. God, besides chapter 119 being the longest psalm and the longest chapter of anything in the Bible, it's also longer than most of the books in the Bible, but it also contains one of the amazing things, one of the amazing facets about you that is so crucially important to my life and I think to other people's lives as well. We hear this psalmist, and interestingly enough, we hear it again in, in the other, next chapter, chapter 120, consistently know you, meaning he knows clearly where he stands with you. He knows your consistency in judgment. He knows your consistency in your rules. He knows your consistency in your commandments. Uh, he knows your consistency with your grace. What is incredible is throughout the whole thing, he, you can tell that there is just this um, almost platform that he stands on as he works through all of the situations with you. There's this main platform of consistency that comes from you. You are, have always been, and will always be. You are never changing, which is baffling to us where everything in our lives changes every about three seconds sometimes more often than that than that so we're not used to uh, something being consistent in our lives I was uh, I was laughing getting ready to record this this chapter and talk about consistency and things like that I was um, remembering this guy that I dated who I always seemed to walk on eggshells around him because I never knew what was going to make him mad now, thankfully, it wasn't a physically abusive relationship before anybody starts thinking that. But it was probably emotionally abusive because I would say something one day and it would just be fine. But then the next day, it, it was something that set him off. And, and I never knew what to say or what to do around him because I was so worried about his response. There was no consistency to him in the slightest. Now, granted, that's an extreme case, but then I go to the other extreme, which is you, God, and you are consistent about everything. And the more we know about your word, the more consistent you are in our life. In fact, one of the commentaries I read um, that was about uh, chapter 119 said, those of us who've drunk deeply of this grace from God will not easily forget God's commandments. And that's true. The more we read your word, the more we're involved in a conversation with you through prayer, the more we experience your grace and mercy and forgiveness in our own lives and, and your love, the more we start to understand not only your commandments, obviously, but also this amazing character uh, facet that provides this consistency in our life, something that we, we don't have with anybody else. We don't have with anything else in our life. It is only with you. And it's amazing because in when we start off in our relationship with you, things are kind of all over the board. Not you, but we are. And how we respond or don't respond to certain things. And as, as we grow in our relationship to you and as we learn more about you and as we participate more in the relationship, we realize more and more that you are just a steady, concrete, never moving platform in our lives. Uh, something that we can hold on to for rescue, as, as we hear the psalmist uh, talk about. Or in those cases, we can also stand on that same platform and, and just holler our praises about you. Because it's never shifting. It's never changing. We always know exactly what is expected of us. We always know exactly what you're going to give us. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, we don't deserve anything that you've given us we don't deserve forgiveness we don't deserve love we don't deserve grace we don't deserve mercy uh, we don't deserve any of those things considering how we act but yet we know that that's how you're going to respond in our lives the psalmist is struggling with something in his life big surprise we all struggle with things in our life and i also have learned that as we struggle with things of this world your precepts your grace, your laws, your mercy 
become more and more solid in my life. There's something I can hold on to and I don't feel like I'm constantly sinking in my life. I simply find that consistent platform or that consistent life vest in my world and just hold on to it for dear life until the storm has passed and, and I go back and I look at, at what I needed to learn from that. God, in, the psalmist in chapter 120 says, in my distress, I cried out to the Lord and he answered me. And I know after all the things that you and I have gone through together, <laughs> that you always answer me. In the beginning, I used to think that you weren't there, that you weren't answering me, that you were far away. And now I know truly it's it's my fault it's my reaction to things it's my perception of things you are always there for me you always answer me you always respond to me granted it may not be in the way I want you to respond but you always respond to me God I'm baffled that you want to have that kind of relationship with me but I'm also honored and blessed and overwhelmed that you want to have that kind of relationship with me God, help guide my steps today so that I learn more and more about your precepts, your commandments, your laws, uh, your rules, your word, everything that I need to know so that that consistency in my life, which is you, becomes bigger and bigger. And my fear of living in this world becomes less and less. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Thank you.